Hi all. Today we are going to learn about software project management and what all are the factors that will affect the management of a software project. Software project management is the set of managerial activities that is performed to make the software development successful. The four factors that will affect the management of a software development is people, product, process and projects. These are called as four P's of software project management because all the four terms starts with the letter P. People means the person who is associated with the development activities of a software project. They are the most important factor of a successful project. Mainly software development is a people centric activity. The success of the project is on the shoulders of the people who are involved in the development team. The second one is the product which is ultimately the software to be built and process is the set of framework activities and software engineering tasks to get the product. Project is all the works required to make the product a reality. So if we analyze this workflow, people perform various processes to produce a product. So ultimately people is responsible for the developed product and all the works or tasks performed to make this product a reality is termed as project. First we will learn who all are the people associated with a software project. Usually there will be a senior manager who will define the business constraints or the business perspectives of a project being developed. The second category is the team manager or the team leader who will manage all the activities involved in a particular software development. As we all know that designers will design the database or graphical user interface or the algorithms that is required to solve a particular problem. Testers will verify and validate the developed product. Developers or programmers will implement the requirements in a suitable high level programming language. And the customers or end users will do the acceptance testing and they will either receive or reject the product. So this is the various people associated with the software product. Next is the product. What do we want to deliver to the customer is termed as the product or the end solution is the product. To develop a successful product, the product objectives and scope should be identified. Then the product manager should plan the various possible solutions or alternative solutions to do the particular problem. And after the proper analysis task, the project manager has to choose the best feasible solution that can be implemented. After that, identify the various technical and managerial constraints associated with that project. Based on that, they have to prepare a work breakdown structure that is dividing the large task into small, simpler tasks and estimate the cost in an economical manner. After the estimation process, they have to identify what all are the probable risks that may occur during the development phase and they have to prepare some risk management strategies and they have to incorporate all this to make the product a successful one. The third influencing parameter is the process. Process is the way in which we are developing the software. We have already learned various software process models like waterfall model, prototyping model, spiral model, rapid application development model, agile model, etc. We have to identify which model will be best suitable for our particular project. In some cases, we will even use the combination of two or more models. Various scheduling and project management models are followed. For example, for scheduling, we will use GANA chart or per chart or WBS. WBS means work breakdown structure. We will learn about all these scheduling tasks in our next sessions. There may be case tools, computer aided software engineering tools, which will automate the various development activities. So we have to choose what all are the case tools that is to be used in our software development and ultimately the product will be accepted only based on its quality so we have to use some software quality management process like ISO standard or K quality maturity model CMM or Six Sigma standards and the last one is the project which is the series of all the activities and processes that we perform to make the product a successful one. A proper planning is required to monitor the status of development and to control the complexity associated with the development phases. 
in real time most of the projects are coming late with cost overruns of more than 100 percentage so most of the projects are developed in such a manner that the cost will be more than that of the scheduled estimate in order to manage a successful software project we must understand what can go wrong so that we can resolve that at the right time Famous software scientist John Reel has performed a study to identify the challenges associated with software project management. He has identified 10 signs that may lead the software in jeopardy. Software people don't understand their customer needs or the product scope is poorly defined or the changes are not managed properly. Change in the chosen technology may lead the software to failure. Business needs change unrealistic deadlines users are resistant to accept the new change project team lacks people with appropriate skills manager avoid the best practices and lessons that they learned from their experience sponsorship is lost or the enough budget is not allotted to develop the product etc reels have proposed a solution which is termed as five part common sense approach to resolve all these challenges first one is start on the right foot that is use the right people or the skilled people with the right technology with proper planning to develop a software project second one is maintain momentum every software will begin with proper planning and proper design but later on it may lose its momentum and it will lead to the failure a project manager should give incentives to the people who is performing well or to motivate the team members etc third one is the track progress keep track of the software models that we are using keep track of the source code is error free and ensure that the set of test cases designed are adequate fourth one is make smart decisions like always keep the design strategies simple and flexible and the last one is conduct a post-mortem analysis that is after the development of a particular software product, establish a mechanism for extracting the lessons that we learn from every project so that it can be used in the future projects having similar nature. So these are all the software project management strategies. Thank you.